timpani, also called kettle drums, were the first drums to be used in the orchestra over 300 years ago. They are constructed of a large copper bowl with a drum head made of calfskin or plastic stretched across the top. When struck with felt-tipped wooden sticks, or mallets, timpani produce a specific pitch that is determined by the drum's size. That pitch is fine-tuned by tightening the drum head with keys and foot pedals. Most orchestras use three or four timpani of varying sizes. Let's listen to the sound of the timpani. In uh, Ode to Joy, uh, the timpani definitely doesn't have the melody, uh, because definitely in that time period, the timpani were not easily changed as far as the pitch. So you were kind of stuck with the pitches that you, you start with. So it's in D, so in that part, uh, you have a D and an A, and it's just a simple part like this. Also called orchestra bells, the glockenspiel resembles a small xylophone, but it is made of steel bars. The glockenspiel is typically played with wooden or plastic mallets, producing a high-tuned sound that is bright and penetrating. The name glockenspiel comes from the German language and means to play the bells. Let's listen to the sound of the glockenspiel. The snare drum joined the orchestra nearly 200 years ago. It has two calfskin or plastic drum heads stretched tightly over a hollow metal frame. The top head is struck with wooden drumsticks, and is called the batter head. The bottom head, or snare head has catgut or metal wires, called snares, stretched tightly across it. When this untuned drum is struck on the top head, the snares produce a characteristic sharp rattling sound as they vibrate against the bottom head. Let's listen to the sound of the snare drum. Bouncing them one to the other. Here's a roll, that's what we call it. Here's a roll with the snares off. And with the snare on. The tenor drum doesn't have a snare. It's always played without a snare. It's quite deep compared to the snare drum, somewhere between the snare drum, side drum, and the bass drum. But perhaps the snare drum is most familiar in a marching type of context. <laughs> 